Welcome back, everybody. We hope sincerely that you are making plans to join us live on the road in Florissant this Friday. Now, in the meantime, we're bringing you stories of some of the town's great places and great characters. The performing arts are such a priority for that city up in Florissant that they actually own and operate their own theater. And half a century in, the Florissant Civic Center Theater is busier than ever. Shakespeare famously wrote that all the world's a stage. Well, that stage, my friends, is always busy. Of the 365 days this year in 2022, this space has been booked for more than 330. It's a crazy schedule, but it's such a great thing to be able to say we're booked 330 days of the year um, and to be able to keep doing this year after year and have audiences returning. And I don't know how many places in the country really get to do this, and we're doing it right here in Florissant. Brian Paladin is the theater manager for the city of Florissant. In other words, he provides a stage, literally, for local community theater groups. Because we're the municipality and we can take on those costs, we can have all the technology here for them to use to bring something creative and beautiful to the audience. That technology includes a state-of-the-art lighting system that you would never find in a typical community theater. We have infused a little over $100,000 worth of lighting, and that is not at the taxpayer expense here in Florissant. Uh, we've been able to utilize some ARPA funds through the uh, Rescue Plan Act. These lights connect to software that includes a complete three-dimensional model of the theater and stage, allowing users to adjust and move the lights, change their color, even view the stage virtually from the vantage point of the light itself, all with just the click of a mouse. This stage, by the way, plays host to all kinds of events, dance recitals, concerts, lectures, and of course, plays and musicals. We get to work with two great community theater groups, the Alpha Players and the Hawthorne Players, who have both been around for 75 and 60 years respectively. Currently, the stage is set for the Alpha Players production of Ripcord. Uh, it follows the story of two women that are sharing a room at a retirement home and they definitely don't like each other and they try to one up one another to get the other one to leave. And of course, comedy ensues and they learn a little bit about each other and uh, it's a really great story. And so you can still check it out this weekend. And you should. After all, there's nothing quite like live theater. The greatest feeling I ever get is when that curtain opens, you hear a gasp from an audience, the laugh from an audience, uh, a sigh, crying, whatever it is, that emotional response that you only get in those situations when you have 500 plus people in a room and they all feel it at the same time. And that's, that's the electricity that actors talk about feeling when they're on stage. And they really feed off of that and it just grows to be something amazing. The Florissant Civic Center Theater turns 50 years old on October 20th, and they are hosting an open house from 3 to 8 p.m. They'll even take you backstage, the whole, the whole shebang. For more information on the birthday bash or ripcord, which is on stage now, or the upcoming St. Louis Family Theater Series, or anything else coming to that stage soon, you can call or text the number on your screen, 314-921-5678. Five, six. Seven, eight, exactly. <laughs> Kent got it, five, six, seven. Well or done. visit fluorescentmo.com <laughs> slash theater. And I have a sneaking suspicion, guys, that some of those theater folks just might pop up at our live on the road show oh. this Friday in front of City Hall. Mm -hmm. We hope you can come out and join us too. Old Town Donuts and Amore mm. Pizza will serve free breakfast starting at 8 in the morning, and then we'll go live on the air, ready or not, at 9.